well, basically companies that have already been doing business in in the last few years in other countries where uh, legal requirements regarding compliance are more advanced or entered into force earlier are obviously more familiar with these kinds of proceedings. Uh, companies that are purely domestic, well since corporate criminal liability only entered into force in Spain in 2010, obviously this issue started being a concern in 2010 and still it wasn't clear whether this was a legal requirement. So basically I think that's the reason why there are two different levels of development between companies. My recommendation would be that they focus in one thing and that they try not to be too ambitious because probably that would, be, that would lead to the failure of the project. So on, in my view and in my experience it, it is easier to take an area of significant concern at all levels at the company, for example anti-corruption. This is something that obviously concerns everyone and start there and establish proceedings, but internal procedures in order to control that and then take that as a starting point to develop that in other areas of the company. So the, the bottom line would be it is better not being so ambitious in order to reach better results. There is a huge demand for compliance. Uh, on the one hand, uh, there are the companies that already have it, they want to make sure that it, it, that it complies with the new legislation entering into force on the 1st of July. And the companies that don't have it, but have been thinking about it already for some time, are uh, concerned and want to have at least something uh, ready when the law enters into force. So yes, there's a huge demand for corporate compliance lately.